Next up, please welcome Photo Map and presenting our Damir Sabol and Jurtsa Serovets. Hello, everyone. My name is Jurtsa. This is Damir. We are co founders of Microblink. For the past three years, we have been developing machine vision technology for mobile devices. Yesterday, we launched an app which uses this technology to help kids around the world learn math. The app is Photomath, the world's first camera calculator. Children take math classes in every school around the world, and they're often the toughest classes of all. Every child, without exception, has experienced being stuck solving a math problem. Peter is a nine-year-old. He goes to school in a small town in the UK. When faced with a math problem, he's often wondering, how can I solve this expression? Or what should I do with that fraction? Many kids at that point simply don't have anyone to ask for help. Parents are often not around, or they also struggle with math. Too often, kids end up just staring at the book and not learning at all. For them, we have a simple and helpful solution. Photomath is a mobile application which children can use to get help when they're stuck solving a math problem. Photomath does it by using the camera of a mobile device to automatically read the mathematic expression. It instantly solves the expression, requiring no manual data entry. And it displays full step-by-step -step solution. Let us show you how it works. Can we switch to the demo? So here we have a typical math textbook with lots of math problems. With Photomath, all you need to do is point the camera of your mobile device towards the expression. It's as simple as that. Photomath instantly solves the expression and displays a solution on screen in real time. To see a full step-by-step -step solution, you can press the steps button. Simply navigate through the steps using on-the-screen arrows. Learn which steps should be performed to get to the correct result and never get stuck with that homework again. Photomath currently supports math for children up to 14 years old. And you can see how it can solve more complex problems as well. This can be used to very quickly check results to math problems. And you can see how fast it is. What we're can we switch back to the presentation? What we're doing here are essentially two things. The first is real-time, very accurate text recognition on a mobile device. And the second is an expert system for human-like solving steps. Combined, they make math problem solving using Photomath very quick and easy. Our team has been building this core technology for the last three years. It's complex and it's state-of-the-art research in machine vision. But before using it in Photomath, we have licensed this text recognition technology to 14 banks across Europe for their mobile banking applications. And this proves it works. And there were other attempts to build a similar product. Even the characters in the Big Bang Theory tried to create a similar application. But today, it's a reality with Photomath, the world's first camera calculator. And we see big opportunities. There are more than one billion school children and students globally. <coughs> uh, 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 You're fine. Take your time. Yeah. A Photomath is a 21st century evolution of calculator, and it can enable every student to have a math teacher in their pocket. We launched Photomath yesterday on App Store as a free app. And while we see that the app itself has great growth potential, we know our core strength is our mobile vision technology. And the business model, which already works for our company, is licensing this technology 
to other developers and companies. We will do the same with Photomath. We will license Photomath SDK to educational companies and app developers to enable them to build new educational applications in ways yet to be imagined. Uh, the next step, and a really big opportunity for us, is the enterprise use of our technology. This is the direction where we see the biggest market potential. So for our future partners and collaborators, we have prepared a set of SDKs which you can easily integrate in your applications. So if you're a software developer, please contact us so we can give you the access uh, to the SDKs. We invite you all to download the iOS version of Photomath, the world's first camera calculator, and make sure you visit us at our booth to see a live demo of our technology. Thank you. All right. Awesome demo. Good cool stuff. Feel free really to cool stuff. In. I'm impressed. So I, I say, as a father of four kids, I think the biggest use case is to not make parents look that stupid when the kids have the problems. Um, <clears throat> my question here is, um, why did you choose the business model of licensing it out? Uh, so we think it has big potential. Uh, our background is actually we built SDKs for mobile banking applications to simplify bill payment. It is across Europe. It's now used in 14 banks across Europe to replace manual data entry with scanning in real time your, your payment slip. So this is our background. This is uh, uh, actually where we have revenues. Uh, Photomat is uh, based on this technology. And we decided to build it because of my also personal frustrations with checking homeworks and things like that. And we think it has big potential. Our core is machine vision. This is what we are. It's mobile machine vision. And uh, as we are self-financed, it is, it is direction in, in which we are going. But we think Photomat also has its big potential globally. Well, I, just a quick question. Just because you come from the, this banking stuff, you chose the business model for a photo app to be licensing. It's, it's what we do now. We think it's, it's, we are quite successful. It's, uh, we are cash flow positive, actually. And, and uh, uh, we are not an educational app uh, company. Uh, we think there are other companies who can bring educational value, real value. For example, yesterday we were contacted already by one company who is building uh, uh, an app for dyslectic children. And they said, oh, well, this, this w would be great for us because you can just take a picture of your math equation and then children can do their math on the tablet. For example, this is one example. We were also contacted yesterday by uh, companies working in, in math uh, solving for, for college students. So there, there is, we can see quite a big potential, and, but we will see, you know, like we can adjust. I, I mean, to me, I'm, I think it's really impressive what you've done. I think the technology is some deep core, feels like it's deep core technology. I don't know enough about it. But the fact that you can do it real time and that, you know, not only are you recognizing the image, but you're actually doing more than that. You're, you're actually calculating something so it's intelligent, right? Yeah. So I think that, that combination is, is, is really interesting, and particularly as we want, as I see it at least, is a sort of digitization of the world, right? You know, there's lots of paper-based stuff, and you want to bring it, bring it online. So the opportunities are, are tremendous. The question I still have, which, which seems to me you're battling with as well, is sort of like you have a great technology, and you're looking for a problem, right? And you're trying to solve that problem. And I think that's, that's really where I think you have to sort of think about you know, how, how you package this, what's you know, super interesting and actually extremely relevant, and how you get uh, an interesting, because to me, you know, you're talking about solving these math problems, which again, you know, I'd, love, I'd love to you know somebody doing homework for me, uh, which is great, but you're also talking to banks, which seems like an even bigger potential opportunity and, and what you can yeah, do there. Of course, uh, so there are two opportunities. One is <coughs> this app, there is one billion children, we think many of them would like this app on their phones. The other is there is this enterprise use, and we think this, this can speed up processes, business processes, and, and make them much more simple and efficient. Mm. And we have several products coming out in this, in this area, and we think they, they will be quite successful, as is the case for, for other developers. Okay, sorry, just because we're being asked to really evaluate some of the machine vision technology you've got. Can you just go in? A, I mean, I've, there are so many companies doing machine vision technology. I've looked over the years at so many. 
Can you just explain why yours is better than all the other stuff I may have looked at? The difference is actually in the approach we're using. So we have chosen mobile-first approach in developing text recognition. So while other companies uh, shrink their desktop technology to a mobile device, we have started development with mobile architectures specifically in mind. So this is where we achieved uh, higher accuracy and uh, better, better recognition rate than others. And also in this process with banks, we, we needed to build our accuracy algorithms and, and we have some special approach in this, in this part. So it, it is now working in, uh, for more than 4 million mobile banking users. And uh, we think we are, we are quite good at it. That, that's, that's more or less. And so how much of the uh, IP is really around the machine vision versus the math? So if you just go a little bit deeper, are you going into real time and getting a data store in terms of your matching solution sets that you've digitized yes. from the world that's out there? So theoretically, you don't have to just do this in math. You can do this in other verticals too. Is that, is that fair? Yes. So the first thing we do is we recognize the mathematic expression, and that's, yeah. that's where we use our text recognition Understood. technology. Yeah. This text recognition is available as an, as an SDK to other developers who can use it. And then the other, we build on top of that, we build our math solver. So we use it to solve the mathematic expression we read uh, to get a step-by-step -step solution. So that's another thing. So you've created that content yes. for all of the math in the world up until the age of 14? Uh, we can't say for all of the math in the world, but for most of it, yes. For, for, yes. Yeah. Sorry, for that part, how does that, that math step-by-step -step compare with, it's Math42 in Germany, isn't it? There's an app that does step-by-step -step math solving problems. So Mathematics. We think this, is, this might be an example where, where we partner with somebody who is an educational company, and for example, uh, ideas here that, that we heard from, from other, other startups is that you can help children understand these, these steps. Maybe somebody can make animation, and maybe it, it will be much easier for them to understand it. So there are many ways, uh, and there are companies out there who can do it probably better than us in this educational part. Why did you uh, choose this application with the technology? What, what's, what's the passion that's driving you to, towards making a MOMS um, app? I was frustrated when I need, needed to check homework, my kids' homework, so <laughs> that was one. And we, we thought it's, it's uh, just a very good showcase, and we think it's, it's uh, just building, uh, it's, it's great opportunity to, uh, to change education. We think this is uh, just the start, and, and that there are very innovative things that, that can be done in this, this segment, so, so we thought it's... Uh, great thing to do and what, what are you angry about about education that you want to change though What's, it's, where's it's, the driving passion it's, it's so we're not trying to change education as a company we, we try to make mobile devices much more useful so this is what we do and others will try to change ed education so we're not really frustrated with education but we think we can support changes there can you just quickly explain a bit more? So machine vision for the mobile first. Can you explain to me why, what, what, what benefits that, that brings? So for example, we use parallel processing on the graphical processing unit and on central processing unit. So we do image processing on GPU and we do text character recognition on a CPU. That's a speed benefit we got from optimizing it for mobile devices. So that, that's one example. We also use integrated mobile camera so we can control the camera uh, while we do the text recognition. So these are just some of the examples. Cool, that's well, as, as fascinating as I, I think the demo was, I'm still struggling with the business model. So if the technology is so unique, and to me it seems like very viral, so I would always try to also own the end customer, and not give it away. Um, so I'm not sure whether you do that because of the heritage of your business or because of the constraint of the financing environment, but <clears throat> for me it is either the technology is great and viral, then you own the customer, or... or, oh, or we, are, we are not giving up on customers and customers, so we think, yeah. yeah but if you uh, license it out, then you facilitate others with your great technology to basically uh, get the customer that otherwise you could have gotten. It's, let's say it's, uh, we will decide uh, how, to, how to continue uh, on the way, how we learn what, what is happening. 
and about reactions. We will see reactions from customers, and we, we have we can be quite flexible. I think. What do you think comes next after math? So we have, for enterprise use, we have uh, specific several use cases. I will give you one, like I ban a number. Sorry, acoustic. I ban, I ban, I ban. account yeah. number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, which we so all have. Have you tried to enter it on your mobile device? Yes. It's just like doing my daughter's homework. And it's you, you, should, you should see how it works when you just put it, it, it's there. You just put your phone over it, it's there. So there are many things that we can do to speed up processes that are now manual. And for mobile devices, you need to replace this manual uh, data entry with something that is much more simple. And we are quite successful uh, doing that in mobile banking part. And we think there are many, many opportunities to do it uh, in other industries. But have you considered the difficulty of selling to banking customers, to education businesses, to developing content across you know, IBAN numbers globally, which so we is are, sort we of are, So we are, our strategy is actually to work with developers, we are with other developers, not directly. Okay, so you want to be known as a mobile vision company, people plug into your platform, and they yes. create new applications. Yes. Is that? Oh, yes, working with the developers, not working directly with, with end customers. So how do you get to market then? How do you then develop a brand with the developer community? What, what's the strategy you thought of? Uh, this event is very important, for example, it will showcase and we are already getting, getting uh, 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 questions by other developers, we would like to do this. And I would say every other company here showcasing could use our technology in their applications. So there are many things that we can cover using our technology, improve business processes. Does, does your technology improve as it gets implemented into other apps? In other words, you do image recognition and the image goes to your server and somehow you're, you learn from that, which makes uh, you stronger in the long run? Not exactly, uh, because uh, our requirement was to do OCR locally on a device. So that's the difference between some of our competitors and our technology. We do it locally on the phone. Yeah. And that's what makes it much simpler to use it, to integrate it, for example, in mobile banking applications because of the security requirements. Okay. So we do it locally on the phone. But we use machine learning to <clears throat> simulate uh, difficult things and make it work even on, on low-end devices, for example, without auto focus and things like that. All right, any last questions? All right, that was Photomath. You guys did a great job. Very impressive. Thank you. Thank you.